हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जाफरानी किचन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू वेरी क्रिस्पी वेरी क्रंची फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड वेरी टेंडर एंड जूसी फ्रॉम इनसाइड एनी गैस नो तो दिस डेज चना चिनी इज वेरी पॉपुलर इज इंट इट तो टुडे आई एम शेयरिंग द सेम रेसिपी इन टू डिफरेंट स्टाइल दैट इज काबली चना यू विल गेट टू टाइप्स ऑफ काबली चना इन अ मार्केट वन इज अ स्मॉल एंड वन इज बिग आई हैव चूज इन अ बिगर वन सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू वॉश इट नाइसली एंड सोक इट ओवर नाइट विद एक्सेस वाटर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट द वॉल्यूम हैज जस्ट बिकम डबल एंड इट्स कंप्लीटली सोक नाइसली इट्स रेडी टू बॉयल and you can check it out it take at least 6 to 8 hour for soaking time in summer it will take 6 hour in winter it will take 8 hour and just you take break it and check it from inside it's completely well soaked it's ready to boil so i have taken and your chickpea has a lot of health benefit today's recipe is going to be very healthy because it's a full of iron and protein so i have taken a pressure cooker transfer with the water salt and 1 tablespoon of ginger paste mix it well and place the lid and cook it on the high flame at least for 6 whistle and after that you can low the flame depend on the quantity or also Six or seven or eight vessel, but for this much only six vessel is required. And after that, you can slow the flame for the five minutes. And after and let it cool down. It will take ten to fifteen minutes. Now you can see the completely it has cooled down. Now you check it out. Just take a pea and just press it with the fingers. It's very soft. is very soft and tender so now it's ready for frying so i have taken a strainer and uh, transfer just transfer uh, yeah now the what the excess water that will come out strain av and and that's water is very useful you can use in a soup but i am going to make the whipped cream vegan whipped cream i am going to use on the cake in my upcoming video you can see that is called aqua fiba so here i have transfer all the chickpea in a uh, bowl and four tablespoon of corn flour i have used here and no salt already in chickpea i have uh, boiled with the salt so just toss it because this is very soft and tender you can not use that hand and a spoon just you have to toss it keep on tossing so it's evenly coat and the same step you have to repeat because one if you want very crunchy to one coating is not enough so second coating is the same step is repeating but you have to transfer in another bowl and just sprinkle some 2 uh, tablespoon of water and again 4 tablespoon of corn flour just toss it again so now it become very crunchy because all the moisture whatever is inside the chick chickpea it will coated with this uh, now you have to strain it what is excess of flour that will come out now heat the wok with the 1 liter of oil any oil you can use and a strainer i have used that is very simple and easy and safe also if you have a less quantity you can use this step let let it take the shape and after that you can uh, move it otherwise it will stick with each other so this is the very safe step now you can check it out ki it's sticking or not and uh, it's very crispy 
because double coating anything you can use for the rice flour you can use and you can use maida you can use besan also the coating can do with any but for the chinese that is corn flour is the best and healthy option also i am not using refined flour so i can hear the sound it's very crunchy and another step i will show you when it become light pink you have to remove it on the tissue paper and another step i am showing you just you can transfer all the chickpea in the oil directly like this but at a, a small amount at a time otherwise oil will come out of the wok so at a time different different side you have to place otherwise it will stick let them take the shape because the chickpea is moist from inside so and it's very tender and on high flame you have to cook only we want just give the crispiness of the outer part it's very tender very soft it's well cooked from inside so i have to cook it on high flame completely not in a starting low and middle high and then low no in cooking time is it will take at least 3 4 minutes but full of high flame otherwise it will absorb lot of oil and it becomes soft also so now it's ready i have to remove and just you stir it and check it it have stuck just you can with the help of a spoon you can separate it yes now the next step very carefully very you need a lot of patience for all this if you are making this is only you have to serve like a starter and uh, means yeah, you cannot prepare when people are sitting on the table and you have to prepare it because you have to serve it hot only so remove on the tissue paper what the excess oil is there it will come out so here all the ingredient which is required for my next step that is uh, ginger garlic and uh, tomato ketchup and uh, szechuan chutney so here i have heated the pan with garlic and a spring onion some capsicum just you chop it in a small pieces because chickpea is also very small you cannot chop it in a big slices or big cubes so that should be here i am adding the szechuan chutney 2 tablespoon tomato ketchup you can add according to your taste but not too much and soya sauce 2 teaspoon that just on a high flame you have to cook it and stir it continuously to avoid to burn and whatever the excess uh, corn flour has left on the bowl i have make the slurry on with water and add one tablespoon just you can adjust and switch off the flame here and mix all the chickpea with the sauce so it's ready how do you like it i hope you all have enjoy please don't forget to like and share and subscribe my channel hope to see you in my next video and you can garnish with the some spring onion and uh, here i am scattered some of the plain chickpea which i have fried so it's very tempting very tasty please you do try and give me the feedback how do you like it next time make
एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली बाय बाय सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो